Okay, we are live. And hopefully some of y'all are still getting here. It is now 9 o'clock here on the East Coast. And my name is Becky Webb. Um, I am a Young Living Diamond, and I'm so, so excited about what I have to talk to you about tonight. Um, I have been doing a ton of reading lately on essential oils and um, their relation to um, emotions in the body and how you can really make a difference um, in your business, in your life, um, eliminating some of those emotional roadblocks that we all carry with us, all that emotional baggage, and um, essential oils can be an awesome tool to do that, to use um, alongside other things to kind of train your mind that you can do this, that you can be successful, that you can make a difference in the world, and that you don't have to listen to all those voices that are, you know, in your head, and um, and that you can really make a difference. So tonight I'm super excited to talk about that. I just wanted to make sure all this was set up. Let's see. I didn't know. Let me see if all my the chatting's on. I want to make sure y'all can chat. Um, and if you have questions along the way. So we're just going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to screen share some slides for you. See, my computer's taking a little bit of time. Um, man, the spinning wheel lately just keeps getting me. Okay, so there we go. All right, so like I said, my name is Becky Webb. I want to tell you um, a little bit how I got started with Young Living Essential Oils. I've been with Young Living since um, April of 2013. Actually, that is when I brought my, bought my premium starter kit, was in April of 2013. And um, I didn't start my business with Young Living until the end of 2013. Um, and the reason I got a kit was because I started hearing how they can – the essential oils can really help um, support different systems in the body for maximum health and maximum wellness. And my, um, in my family, I am a nutritional therapy practitioner, and I am a childbirth doula. I'm also a student of everything natural health, and I just love it, and I get so excited to read about the body, um, to read about how the body works, to figure out um, just different tools I can use, natural tools, in order to, for the body to function at maximum potential. And so that's what makes me really, really excited. Um, and the reason I got into Young Living is because the company is all about vibrant health, wellness, and self-care. It's really our greatest desire um, that you would have the tools that you need to take control of your own health and take control of your emotions um, to really to empower you to move past those things that are struggles in your life um, related to, you know, emotions as well. So um, I just have a little disclaimer here. Just have to get it, give it to you. Let's see. My disclaimer is that I am not a medical professional. Um, I'm not an expert. And I want to remind you that you do not need to be an expert to make better choices for your health and wellness. It just really, what it takes is experimentation. It takes paying attention to your body. Um, and there are tons and tons of awesome books and reference guides that are available on how to use essential oils. So. Even on um, what we're talking about tonight, about emotions, about emotional roadblocks, um, about how to move past those emotional roadblocks to success in your life, um, I'm, not, I'm not the ultimate expert. I've been doing a lot of reading and experimenting with my own family lately, but I'm still learning too. And isn't that what life's all about, is this amazing journey of learning? and um, 
there's always something to learn. So, um, I am going to, I think I got ahead of myself with the slides. I realize there's a slide in front of another one. We are going to skip this slide and come back to it. Okay, so the majority of the information that you're hearing about tonight is coming from references from these two books and then my own, um, some of my own experiences as well. So Aromatherapy for Healing the Spirit and Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils are really good books. I'd recommend that you would just, you know, get them, dive into them, you know, take with them, take from them what is valuable to you. So you may not agree with everything in them. And that's okay, too, when we're reading books and we're just learning more, is that you may not always agree with everything you read, of course, but there's always really awesome little nuggets in there that you can learn about. So um, a lot of you, if you are members with Young Living, you're probably familiar with our um, Young Living's commitment to Seed to Seal. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit, even if you are already a Young Living member, because it's so important. Um, it's, it's really, really important to where these essential oils are coming from. The essential oil market has exploded in the past couple years, and so there's tons of oils on the market that are really not pure. Um, they are not, and they're not up to par with all the chemical constituents in them needed for um, the use that they are intended. And so Young Living has a seed to seal process, which is, you know, it's amazing because nobody else has it, nobody else does it, and they have an unwavering commitment to quality, which ensures that you get the essential oils exactly the way nature intended. So there's a five-step process that sets the standard of purity. And so the first part is the seed. Quality oils comes from the seed that are able to produce high-quality essential oils. So these are, you know, the correct species. These are seeds that are grown in a very fertile soil. These are the strongest seeds. Um, and then cultivate. Around the world, Young Living's farms are dedicated to responsibility, sustainability, and high standards. Um, and it's actually pretty amazing to see how some of these farms around the world are really um, benefiting from Young Living because um, of their commitment to not only the agriculture there and sustaining the sustainability in the agriculture, but also just investing in the people that are working there as well. So distilling, Young Living's distillation process combines modern and ancient techniques that preserve the oil's constituents. Um, I've been to uh, Young Living Distillery and I've seen how they do it. It's an amazing process at a very low heat and very low temperature, so you're preserving all those chemical constituents that come from the plant. And then they test the essential oils. Young Living's oils are not diluted, they're not cut, they're not adulterated. They're tested in internal labs and in third-party facilities. And then they are very carefully bottled and labeled in Spanish Fork, Utah, where the oils are shipped worldwide. Um, so how do I know that this is true? The way that I know this is true is that since Young Living owns lots of their own farms, I've been there, and there is me, and... Um, Mama Natural and uh, Sarah, and we are having a good old time in the lavender fields and really enjoying ourselves. And we've had a blast um, just seeing all of it for our very own eyes. You're invited to the farms, which makes you Young Living unique. And that's what, um, that's what sold me on these oils, plus being around the company and just seeing how genuine everybody is and how much they really do care about, about the quality of your essential oils. That's going to make the difference here. Um, so that's going to make the difference when you're using essential oils between any other brand or, you know, anywhere else. 
So once again, I'm very excited to talk to you today about building your dream and using essential oils to get past some of these emotional roadblocks that many of us put up. Um, a lot of us put up emotional roadblocks when we don't even realize we're doing it. So um, that's why, so we talked a little bit about the quality. Um, and now I want to talk to you a little bit before we get started about carrier oils. Um, carrier oils are something that you're going to mix your essential oil with if you're going to use it topically. So a lot of carrier oils will help stretch your essential oil farther. Um, and you can get a carrier oil, Young Living makes a V6 oil that you can order from them or you can get carrier oils at your local health food store. Um, some grocery stores carry them. So you can just go and experiment with them and find out which ones you love the most. Some of my favorites right now are sweet almond oil and apricot kernel oil. Um, those are some of my favorites. So when I'm going through and talking about these different emotions that you may have experienced, um, and some of the oils that go with them, um, I would recommend, you know, mixing a carrier oil along with these essential oils and then um, either applying them or using them aromatically, okay? So the first emotion we are going to talk about is occasional anxiety. Whoops. Um, the best essential oil for occasional anxiety is going to be joy. Now, there may be a few other oils that you could try using um, for occasional anxiety that could help you. Everybody is a little bit different, um, but this, but Joy is an amazing, an amazing oil. So, I want to ask you this question. If you have a small business or if you're a Young Living um, member and business builder, um, have you ever thought about your dream and had some occasional anxiety as well as thinking, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can reach my goals. Or do you even wonder what a person would think if you spoke to them about your Young Living Oils or about another network marketing business or about your other small business? Are you just worried about what they think? So you get this, you know, occasional anxiety. Um, so the opposite emotion of, of being anxious in this case would be being confident. So the way out of the, this anxiety would be to remind yourself to be at peace, would remind yourself to be still. Um, and really remind yourself that you don't have to worry. Um, so this oil, joy, is a very floral blend. If you haven't used Joy yet, it has rose, bergamot, mandarin, lang lang, lemon, geranium, jasmine, palmarosa, Roman chamomile, and rosewood. So the best place to apply Joy in this case would be to the right interior side. Um, so what I mean, so you're in, if you can feel your rib cage around, if, if you go to the right side, go to your right, you know, your rib cage, where it comes down from your sternum, you can apply joy along the rib cage um, down to your, down from your sternum and when it kind of curves around. You can use the carrier oil, you can apply it there and it can really, this can really help with feelings of confidence um, and to get rid of that, those feelings of anxiety. Okay, so we want to increase feelings of stillness. Um, and, you know, it's funny because at first I was reading this, these books and I was like, oh, I mean, does it really matter where you apply it? Or can I just diffuse it? And again, everyone is different, but we really found that after referencing some of these points, um, they really can make a difference as to where you apply it. So if you're applying it along the rib cage on your right side, um, that can be super helpful. Okay, so if you have any right now and if you have some joy with you, you can try it out and you can let us know in the chat. <laughs> All right. So does anybody have any questions so far? 
If you do, you can let me know. Um, the chat should be working. Okay. So let's go on to the next emotion. And the next emotion we're going to talk about is can't. Now I know because I've experienced it myself that a lot of people in Young Living with their business and a lot of people in network marketing in general and really in life have times where they feel like they just can't do it. Okay, so if you're feeling like you can't, the oil for you may be transformation. And this is when, like, I want you to think about times when you struggle with not accepting that you can achieve your dreams or that you can achieve your goals. So do you find yourself struggling with continued negative talk? Or do you even find yourself sabotaging your self-sabotaging your dreams because you don't believe you really can? I see as a leader in the business that this happens very, very often. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I love network marketing is because it's such a growing experience. I mean, I think probably, you know, owning any business is going to be a growing experience. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, I've owned a couple different businesses and you're always learning things. You're always learning how to do things. You're always, I mean, you're reading books to learn more, but there's always those times that can't sneaks into your mind and you think, okay, I don't really know if I can do this. I don't know if I have what it takes. So the way out of this emotion is to remind, to actually accept and not just tell yourself you can, but accept that you can. And the oil that is most helpful for accepting this belief of can is going to be transformation. Your tr the transformation is a blend um, that is really helpful for changing one's belief system. It's a blend of lemon, peppermint, sandalwood, clary sage, frankincense, and Idaho balsam fir, rosemary, and cardamom. Um, you can diffuse this oil or you can apply it to your abdomen. Um, so diffusing it or applying it to your abdomen can really help with um, feelings of I can't and I can. And so when you are ever noticing that those feelings are creeping into your head, um, I would recommend taking out your transformation and applying it to your abdomen. Um, so what you're trying to do, and as you're applying it to your abdomen, I would also recommend you to remind yourself what you can do. Make a list of the things that you're good at. And remind yourself of those things. Eventually, too, um, not only because there's, you know, certain chemical constituents in the oils that can help, you know, help your body maintain certain health and do certain things, um, you most likely, too, will associate the scent along with those positive feelings of the fact that you can. And it can be used as another tool to move you forward in your business. Okay, and we never can have enough tools, right? Whoa, I just shrank my slides. Whoops. Um, there we go. Okay. So the next oil we're going to talk about here. Oh, I've got a couple comments, so I'm just going to check them out. I don't know why I'm having a. Okay. Oh, Hannah was asking for the name of the book. Um, good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this so far. Let me go back a couple of slides and I'll show you the books real quick again that I'm taking this from. And of course, there will be a replay of this too. Um, aromatherapy for, whoops, there I am. Um, aromatherapy for healing the spirit and then re releasing emotional patterns with essential oils are two really good ones. Um, and there's joy and transformation. Okay, so the next oil that we're going to talk about here is Tasuga. Tasuga is an oil that a lot of people Zyto scan for 
on a fairly regular basis. And it's interesting that my five-year-old daughter actually has Zyto scanned for this one often. And I see that um, she has this emotion. The emotion for Tasuga is defeated. So the opposite of when you're feeling defeated is actually feeling honored. It's knowing that your life supports you. It's knowing that you're worthy of blessings um, and that you're not worthy of defeat. Okay, so you need to tell yourself that you are not defeated. And it's even better, too, that when you're um, affirming yourself to make sure that you're affirming positively to remind yourself that you are worthy of blessings. Um, I think a lot of us, or some of us struggle, you know, whether it be our, our past or whatever else has gone on with our life, um, that we can struggle with defeat. And, you know, if you're struggling with defeat, it is really, really hard for your business to take off. Um, it's super hard for your business to take off because it becomes a negative cycle. It'll become a negative cycle in your life. And so what we want to do is get rid of that negative cycle. Um, and Tasuka can really help you with that. So, yeah, I find it just so interesting that my, my middle child continues to um, scan for this often. And um, so the, the best place to apply to Suga would be on your neck, actually under your, kind of right under your chin. And again, as you're apply, applying these oils, you want to uh, make sure you're focusing on truth when you're applying these oils and not on negativity. So you want to continue to focus on the fact that you are worthy of blessings. Um, and that you do not have to claim defeat in your life. And so, um, yeah, Tasuga is awesome for that. Okay, so let's talk about myrrh. A lot of people know myrrh as um, an oil of the Bible. It was an oil that was given to the baby Jesus. And interestingly enough, it's, a, it's an oil for the emotion of difficulty. So he was obviously going to go through some a lot of difficulty. So it was interesting that this this oil was given to him too. Um, it's also an expensive oil because, but a little bit of myrrh can go a very very long way. It's also very supportive for the endocrine system. So let me ask you these questions when you're when you're thinking about difficulty. Do you feel like your dreams are too difficult to achieve? Do you feel like you don't have the gifts to achieve your dreams? Or is it, even if it's something else, um, maybe you have little kids attached to you all the time. That was always my difficulty when I first started my Young Living business. Is I was, my husband was traveling 70 plus days a year. We didn't have any money to pay for a babysitter. Um, I always had kids around, it, you know, and so I, I had things that I could complain about or that I felt like were difficult. Not to minimize difficulty, but they were things in my life that, you know, were very difficult for us. So for difficulty, myrrh is going to be the oil to apply if you're feeling like your dreams in life are just too difficult to achieve. So, um... You want to apply this oil to your left tailbone and to your feet when you're struggling with this difficulty. Okay? Your left tailbone and your feet. So you want to know that there is hope and a way out of difficulty. You want to tell yourself that this difficulty will pass or that you can find another way out of it or that you can find a solution. And this is one thing that I try to teach my children on a regular basis when they're, you know, something's too hard for them because they're too um, young or it's too hard, mom, or mom, I just can't do that. And so what I try to do is teach them how to find a solution to their problem. Um, you know, 
that once we think that things are just too difficult for us and we keep going over and over in our heads how they're too difficult, that's going to stop us in our tracks and it's going to stop us in our tracks from being successful. So we need to get past that because there's always a way out. There's always a solution to the problem and the difficulty will pass and um, you know we have to make this decision in our life to change it. So in order to do that, Mer is an awesome, awesome tool for that. Uh, Michaela asked if she put transformation on her heart and wrist, if that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Um, the points that I'm suggesting on where to place these oils today are from, the, um, from those books I mentioned. And so those places are okay, and I'm not saying that your oils wouldn't work if you don't place them in other places, but some of these places have just proved really helpful for us. And, um, and it's kind of been amazing to watch if we apply them in certain places, if they do, you know, if they feel like if you get a sense, not to sound weird or anything, but if you get a sense that it even can make a difference or even work faster where you apply it. Now, once again, everybody's different. You can diffuse them. You can apply them other places. You can apply them. I like to apply oils on my wrists quite often so that I can smell them, um, so I can get the aromatherapeutic, ben you know, benefit that way. Um, but um, yeah, so these points have been suggested. Just if you start reading different books, there's just different points in the body, like um, as far as even like Chinese medicine. And the different meridians that they say that energy runs the body, that that's why they suggest some of these points. And I even have tons of learning to do on that. There's just so many things to learn. Um, so if you apply them other places, that's cool too. But you may want to experiment a little bit and, and see if some of these places, applying them even makes more of a difference. All right, so we're going to talk about joy again a little bit, but we're going to talk a bit of a different emotion than the, um, the first time we talked about joy, we were talking about the occasional anxiety. This time we're going to talk about joy, and we're going to talk about the emotion of disappointment. Now, I know that everybody's felt disappointed before, and in times in our life, things don't go exactly as we planned, and we experience this disappointment. So disappointment is really, it can kind of be a bondage because it's kind of unmet expectations. Um, and so the opposite of being disappointed is really freedom. So freedom is knowing the things that happen for a reason, um, and that knowing that even when you're disappointed and when you feel like in your head maybe, maybe it's past your, crossed your mind, okay, this didn't happen the way I wanted to, or I really failed at this, and you're really, really bummed out and it brings you, it brings you down. Um, so the opposite of that is experiencing the freedom and knowing that things happen for a reason. And then it's no different when things don't go exactly, you know, things don't go as that, exactly as you plan them, oftentimes for a reason. We often learn things um, from those situations, or like when I was talking about murder, we find a way out. We find a different um, way to do things. We find a different way to think about things. So applying joy can be very helpful for struggles with disappointment. So as you apply it, you need to remind yourself and affirm to yourself that you trust your own vision for the future. That even because you're disappointed and maybe things didn't go the way that you wanted, that doesn't mean that your future that you dream of and that you wish for isn't going to come to pass. Okay? Because once you start thinking that, that, that those things aren't going to come to pass because you're disappointed, that's when your thoughts start going downhill. That's when you start pulling away from things. That's when um, your actions start changing, right? And they're not, they start changing away from your vis vision and not towards your vision. So everything happens for a reason. Um, and even to affirm to yourself, okay, 
this is, I know this is a bummer. Okay, I'm bummed out. You've been acknowledged that. Fine. But it, then you move on. There's a reason that this is happening. There's a great reason that this is happening, and we're going to figure out what it is. We're going to learn from it. We're going to move past it. Okay, so a good way to, um, um, to apply joy in this situation would be over your, around your sternum, on your chest, um, even around your heart area, or kind of just around the center of your chest. Um, when we applied joy before, we were talking about applying it along that, your rib cage. And that was for that occasional anxiety, but to boost confidence. So, um, so it's a little different in this situation that you're applying it on your chest for the feelings of disappointment. How's everybody doing? Everybody tracking with me? I hope y'all are enjoying this because I am like loving this stuff and um, just totally has been awesome for my family as we have dived into it. Okay, so envision. Y'all, this is my oil. <laughs> envision is my oil. I have been using envision like crazy lately. The emotions for envision um, are discouragement, overwhelmed, and helplessness. A little bit about me, I have the tendency to feel overwhelmed quite often. Um, and so I have been using this oil a lot. I have um, three kids and three small children and, um, you know, it's just, it's been a, it's been an interesting road, really. I love my kiddos, but being a mom for me has been at times like I'm sure with everybody, it's just a struggle at times. Um, so I've just I've fallen into overwhelmed is kind of my default emotion is the, just overwhelmed. So discouragement, overwhelmed, and helplessness. Let's conquer these, okay? It's impossible for our business to thrive when we're facing discouragement when we're overwhelmed or we're feeling helpless. Um, I know that for a fact because whenever I am feeling overwhelmed, I feel like I have to back off, I have to separate myself from my business, um, and basically what I want to do is curl up and go to sleep, but I have little kids to take care of. So um, basically these feelings will stifle and dim our vision for the future. And when I feel overwhelmed, I really do, I kind of forget what path I'm on. I forget, I mean, I have a vision for my future and I kind of forget it. So these set up emotional roadblocks that must be overcome in order to change our future. So important. Um, in each of these instances, we need to focus our energy on vision that we have been given for our future. This is why creating vision boards can be really helpful. I don't know if any of you have ever created a vision board, um, but what you can do is you can, you know, cut out magazines, you can um, print pictures from the internet, you can, um, you know, and post it on a board. A lot of people are super creative with it and make it really beautiful. Um, but anyway, it's a board to look at all the time, to remind yourself of your why and to remind yourself of what you are walking towards so whenever your vision does get dimmed you can take a look at it and think oh yeah that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and I'm gonna go for it um, so a vision board can help you make daily action steps for success to continue to move forward and not let these feelings get you down so the best oil for turning these emotions around and increasing your vision is envision and um, like I said, this is like my oil right now. I love it. I use it all the time, and I don't leave home without it, and I need it all the time. Um, Envision is a blend of sage, geranium, orange, rose, lavender, and spruce. And I use it on a regular basis to curb these feelings and maintain a healthy vision for my future. So um, the best place to apply Envision is kind of in your on your temples. Just be careful not to get it in your eyes. Essential oils are not for your eyes. Um, so 
Yeah, that's where I put it. And I cannot tell you how many times this oil has been amazingly helpful for me. Super amazingly helpful. Everybody should have it. Okay, peppermint. Peppermint is an oil that comes in your premium starter kit. So if you are a Young Living member, you should have a bottle of peppermint. Um, Y'all are seeing these slides, right? And not just me, <laughs> I hope. Um, you should be seeing the slides. Okay, so peppermint um, is great for the emotion of failure. And a lot of people, when they're just starting out, are feeling that, um, well, what I notice most of the time for people that don't succeed in network marketing in a young living business um, or other things in their life is that they actually have a hidden fear of failure and that they don't believe that they can really succeed. Um, so a lot of times when people come to me and they say, what do I do for this member? She really wants to build a business, but she's not really doing X, Y, and Z. And, um, she's, you know, making excuses here and there. And what I usually say is that person has a feel, fear of failure. Most likely, um, most likely there's something in their brain telling them that they can't do it or there's someone else in their life telling them that they can't do it. Um, and fortunately, I guess for me, when I first started with my Young Living business, um, I had someone actually had moved from my team and been poached from my team. Um, and that's what really got me going is I wanted to show myself that I was not a failure. And um, I think that's what lit a fire under my tail. Plus, my husband traveled so much, and so I was ready for change in my life, and that it lit a fire under my tail. So failure can actually be a rejection of growth altogether. If you're going to um, say that you failed, or if, if any of an inkling of failure creeps into your head, then most likely you re, you're, re, you're rejecting growth and you're submitting to failure. I'm reading um, the 15, what is it called? The 15 Indisputable Laws of Leadership, the John Maxwell book. What's the book we're reading, guys? Is anybody in, that's reading the book with me on here? 15, invalu 15 Invaluable Laws of Leadership. That's what we're really reading. Um, and he's talking about being intentional with growth. So what I need to do with peppermint too is apply it while I read the book. I just realized <laughs> probably. Um, so peppermint, um, Many people would consider that they have failed at certain things, but those who succeed are the ones that overcome the failures. To reject failure is to accept, accept the growth in your life. When you come to a point in the road when many in the world would say you have failed, you need to stake your claim and use it as a growing experience that will change you and cause you to rethink the way you do things. Set new goals. Keep going towards the vision which you've been called. And peppermint is going to be um, most helpful in combating this feeling of failure. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is frustration. Um, frustration, lemon is helpful for frustration. If you are a member in my in our Revolution Room um, learning group, if you're part of my team, then you have heard me talk about this one a little bit. Things get frustrating with business or at home once in a while. And the opposite of frustration is you're feeling accomplished. 
is feeling you can move beyond your limitations and you can be a problem solver and you can actually see your dreams come to pass. Lemon is fantastic help in helping to get rid of these feelings of frustration. It's very, very calming and has a super uplifting scent. So lemon. I love my lemon. Actually, I need to get a new bottle of lemon. Okay, let's talk about marjoram. Marjoram, oh, by the way, lemon was in the, is in the premium starter kit too, if you don't have one. Peppermint, lemon. Um, so marjoram Marjoram is feeling unfulfilled. If you're feeling the emotion of the emotion of feeling unfulfilled, um, when you're unfulfilled, you're not fully aware of who you are and what your mission is. So once you have your mission in mind and your calling in mind, you will begin to experience fulfillment. Um, so I would even recommend sitting down and writing out what. You know, reminding yourself what your whys are, what your mission is, um, and knowing those things so you don't deal with unfulfillment. If you do deal with unfulfillment, um, you'll want to use marjoram and you'll want to apply it to the back of your head, like back of your skull. Um, and as you apply it, tell yourself that you're aware of who you are, that you have a vision for the future, and that you have a calling. And tell yourself what that calling is. Um, if you don't know what that calling is, I mean, you can do some soul searching and, and find out, do what you're passionate about. I mean, it's so important to do what you're passionate about. Um, for me, I'm, so, I'm passionate about health and wellness. I'm passionate about building others. I'm passionate about building leaders. And so um, that's my vision. It's not only my passion for wellness, but seeing other people successful, seeing other, other leaders um, reach their goals like I am just I get so excited um, I get so excited when I hear these success stories from my leaders and I've been hearing a lot of them lately of people getting to pay their bills I mean not only the maintaining their health part which is fantastic but seeing them pay their bills um, whether it be mortgages or the food for the month or whatever, I mean, it's just, that's motivating for me. It's exciting. Let's do this. So be ready for the future. Be aware of who you are. Be fulfilled. Um, that's marjoram. Lime. So lime is basically motivation in a bottle. Young Living also has a blend called motivation, which is fantastic, and you can try that too. Um, but when you're feeling unmotivated, you want to move into the opposite direction, which is motivated. You want to be focused on your future. You want to be focused on the task at hand, and you want to complete the next task on your li list. Complete the next task on your list. Lime can be helpful um, in a supplement form. It can be helpful aromatically. Um, it could be helpful to focus to build your dreams. I would, you can diffuse it all the time, it's awesome. Okay, we have one more emotion. And then I'm gonna talk about a few other things. Okay, let's talk about being empowered. Your opposite of being empowered is if you have an, a feeling of inadequacy. If you're in, if feeling inadequate, then you're not feeling empowered. The opposite of being inadequate is being empowered. Um, you can apply either one of these or you could use them both, apply Idaho balsam fir or white fir to the top of your school. And what does it mean to be empowered? Um, it means to be confident in your direction. It means that there's things that you do have control over. It means that you're empowered and you are divinely directed and have a calling on your life. So we're going back to that calling, having that vision, um, and being empowered. So when you apply either of these, um, tell yourself that you're divinely directed, that you are 
you know, there's a bigger power out there and that you, it's more than just you and you can move past those feelings of inadequacy. Um, these oils are fantastic for that. And so, um, there's of course more emotions that people have gone through. I think I need to do a part two of this series. Um, and plus some other oils that are super helpful for business building like highest potential and abundance. Every business builder everywhere should have that. Actually, I don't care what business kind of business you have, especially if you're in Young Living, but if you have some other business, yeah, highest potential and abundance are like must-haves, which I couldn't find my abundance before I came today. I'm sitting in my office, and I was looking everywhere for it. Um, so you can't, you can't use what you don't have. If, if you are a member with Young Living, um, the best, deal, the best way to save money on your products is to join Essential Rewards. Are you all on Essential Rewards yet? I hope that you are. Um, you can earn points toward free product on Essential Rewards. I get free product often. Who's on Essential Rewards? I don't have that much. You guys aren't chatting that much, are you? I hope you're interested. Okay, so... Um, you can earn your first six months on Essential Rewards, you'll earn 10% back. Your first six to 12 months on, okay, Essential Rewards is Young Living's optional auto ship program. All right. Um, it's not required. It's optional, but it's awesome. It's really, really awesome. So the first six months, you earn 10% back. Six to 12 months, you earn 15% back. You guys might, I wonder if you hear my dinging from my email. I meant to turn that off. Um, your first 13 months, you earn 20% back. Um, you get a flat rate shipping up to five pounds, and then it's fairly cheap after that. They're really awesome kits. Ninksha Red, there's an art skincare kit, there's these kit, there's balance kit. Um, the kits can save you a lot of money. If you like the items in the kit, it would save you a lot of money than buying them separately. And then it's just really easy shopping. You can fill your cart and you can leave it there. And then if you buy certain things every month, like your Ninksha Red, that'll give you like an energy boost. And it's just all around amazing for health and wellness. Um, then you... Um, you know, then you got that covered. The minimum PV to spend on Essential Rewards each month is just 50, 50 PV. Um, if you're a business builder and you're wanting to get all your commissions, you can spend 100 PV and you can get all those PV points back, or all those, you know, points back. And it's a super awesome program. Okay, and then... So if you're not on Essential Rewards, I highly recommend Essential Rewards. Um, and then this is also, I don't know if you're familiar with the Young Living Rewards every month, but this is July's Rewards. So if you want to get on, on these, you can push your Essential Rewards order through up through the end of the month. Um, so right now you can get... Um, Raven Sarah, and you get Aroma Seas for a bonus if you're on ER, so you get extra rewards if you're on ER. Um, these are all in, just keep in mind, these are all in a single order, 190 PV, 250 PV, or 300 PV are all in a single order. Um, the Thieves Cleaner, I don't know if you guys have seen my periscopes, but holy moly, this stuff cleans everything, everything. I cleaned a bathroom that I dyed my hair in that I couldn't get the stuff off, and the Thieves Cleaner does it all. If you're not a member with Young Living yet and someone else invited you to this webinar, get with them and get started with a premium starter kit. Um, now you can get a bunch of different diffuser options, which are fantastic, and different prices. Or the Thieves kit or the Ninksha Red kit are ways to get started with Young Living. If you get started with Young Living, you get 24% off. There are no strings attached to your membership. 
ever. Um, and the Century Rewards program is completely optional. So Young Living is like the most amazing network marketing company ever because every other one I've ever been a part of, you kind of have to sign half your life away. <laughs> um, whoops. Okay, so right now, y'all, um, the premium starter kits are on sale up until August 14th. So if you're thinking about getting one or if you don't have one yet, um, these are just new. They were just launched not too long ago, a few weeks back. Um, you can get $10 off a premium kit if you order before on or before August 14th. Um, if you are a new member or you could get 10% off the premium kits if you are a current member. So if you don't have the kits, they're beautiful, they're amazing, they're just two boxes instead of three. If you got an old one, um, they're awesome. You need one, you really do. And if you're a business builder, you really need one to teach classes because everybody's gotta see how awesome they are. So I just wanna thank y'all for coming tonight and joining me for this webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm Becky Webb again and I'm a Young Living Diamond. You can. If you want to join Young Living through me, if nobody else invited you to this webinar, and you can go to rootedblessings.com slash essential oils. Um, you can email me with any questions at rootedblessings at gmail.com. And um, I am just, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on doing a few more of these webinars because I think they're so valuable. I've seen so much change in my family. And um, thanks so much for coming tonight. Just want to say thank you, and thank you again for joining me. Um, feel free to give me any kind of feedback or anything, and I hope you really enjoyed this webinar, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a great night.